Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Everspace 2 where apparently the thing we're doing now is just going back home. And you know, if we're going to go back home, we may as well do so with a full cargo bay. So let's go pick up some cargo. Let's go to a place where there is a thing to purchase. Unfortunately, the cargo from this sector does not sell nearly as well in Cedo as the cargo from Cedo sells here. I have received okay. the GNB general broadcast. I'm trying so hard to open my map right now. There we go. The DMZ. Essentially, yes. Okay, well that makes that doesn't really do anything because we were massively overleveled <laughs> for everybody ever anyway. Now I guess we'll be slightly less overleveled. Uh yes, yeah, so wait, change map mode. No, I want I want to be in the one where I can put down a waypoint. There we go. Okay. I'll right, we'll buy whatever they got at the bio plant, and then whatever I, they got at the Okri mining station. We'll just haul it all back home and make ourselves a little bit of money. We're still pretty far off of that new ship. Oh, I guess I should have come here last, because... We have a fast travel point here. Wasn't really thinking about it. Well, whatever. We can grab stuff here. No, I'm sorry. Still working on it. Pity. We are keen to see them, but big data is key. We need all the data we can get. It's tricky finding them all. It is what it is. Why are there so many lines for this? is of much greater importance than our personal convenience. Also, you'd think a scientist would know that the word is pronounced data. It's wild to have him say it so many times in such quick succession, wrong every single time. <laughs> all right, uh, y'all don't really, okay, seeds. It's all just seeds, fine. The solar panels, I mean, this is above median for the solar panels, yeah, we'll just. We'll just take the seeds and then. I really should have come here a second. It's fine. By the time we get back, hopefully they'll have refreshed their stock and we can carry even more seeds. It is nice that we'll be able to just like warp from place to place now instead of having to actually traverse all the distance. We got jellyfish already, right? I should probably have that mission uh, tracked. So mycelium, acid pouch, spore. And a Thorian worm. I don't have any idea what those are. Nope, that's the race ring. Sorry. Here we go. This is what I want. Back for more. I'll just take what I need and get out of your hair. Wow, that is really not a lot of valuable stuff. Uh, also, that dude is so voiced like a Muppet. That guy sounds like he is out on an audition trying to get back up for Rolf right now. Wild. Yeah, the downside of using kite as one uh, one end of your trade route is that you just you get no value coming back. All right, back to the bio plant to teleport home in style. I 
I do wish that we entered the areas in more more useful positions. Right, like we know the deal with this place. Why would we not why would we not always just like swing around to come at it from the top? Alright, have you restocked your shop with many seeds? You have not. Fair enough. I've been gone like three seconds. It makes sense. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Er no wait, this is the one where the thing is all the way at the bottom. This is actually super useful when going back to home base because we can we can teleport basically inside. That whoa, what's happening was supposed to play after the other line, I think, because it's definitely uh, you. You wouldn't be so confident and backing your um, Where are we? bragging about the tech what's once this thing on? starts happening. Clearly, you have meddled too much with the natural laws of physics, and the universe is taking its revenge. That's fair. Your experimentations with these abominable spatial bypasses have led you to your doom. Time to be helpful, Hive. I see we've got company. Multiple craft approaching, seemingly hostile, but I detect no signs of organic life. This doesn't feel like okay, doom. So that's not it good. just feels like purple. Drones? Large ancient energy pulses are emanating from each ship. They are piloted, but by what I cannot determine. Wait, you don't think... These are the crafts which were pulled into the rifts before. Given the diverse origins and ages of each vessel, I would not discount that theory. If the ancient energy has consumed them, maybe they're like late stage redeemers. Maybe they're already dead. Hold tight, Hive. We could be battling the undead here. Okay, but that's to the outrageous list of enemies you have accumulated. That's not that impressive in space, like even if they're undead, you know, like the fear, the fear with undead terrestrially is that, you know, you'll try to kill them and you'll do everything you can and they'll just keep coming. But in outer space, even if they're undead, even if they get back up, if they don't have a ship, they can't really do anything. Like it's not it's not actually a concern. Years of the mad, you say. My resolve is dropping? I feel like I'm being told that rather than making that decision. I don't remember what the actual effective range on this thing is. Okay, it says 2,000. Annihilator virus is out. I am shielded. I am not putting up with bullshit right now. Man, I really love this supernova gun. This thing is so fun. There you, go. you just want to hit the sides of it as best you can. I don't know if that EMP actually did anything. Uh, we had something pretty big here. Let's. I haven't done an energized boost ram in a while. That was fun. Look, 
Let me see if I can re-angle this. Get our front shield generator up here. I had to remember to keep my drones under control too, because they do not heal naturally anymore. Just do a little bit of constructing and healing. So it seems like our resolve meter resets when we when we get a kill. It's not really something to worry about. Cedo Rift stage resolve. Okay. Fighting these things is creepy. I'd rather get out of here. A portal has manifested in the vicinity. It could lead back to the DMZ. It's my only option right now. I mean, it's literally exactly the same as fighting Bloodstar or, like, you know, anybody. It's not... There's just nothing... I don't know. Nothing Adam says seems to be rooted in reality in the first place, I guess. So I guess occasionally when we when we warp, maybe oh no, nope, this is more stuff. This ain't the DMZ. We're just in the next level of heck, aren't we, Hive? Prepare for engagement. More ancient energy craft incoming. Motherfucker said heck. Alright, teleport drones. Definitely best we use this weapon on them, I think. sure what's up with them like all turning purple like that gotcha. I guess a lot of them have a purple glow on them kind of all the time but it's certainly not the case for all of them Hopefully that caught a couple We get our uh, we get our free EMPs a lot more often with this weapon. Maybe something worth remembering. This is a lot of incoming shit. Uh, Try to get close enough to some wreckage to rebuild a drone because we did lose one. I will say one thing that I um, one thing that I do think is a little bit of a bummer about the drone ship is that I feel like I have a lot less to do in combat generally. Yeah, I'm just I'm not making as many decisions, especially because this thing has such limited uh, missile capacity. You really don't want to be firing your missiles mandatory um, manually very often going to be letting them go off for free when they can go off for free, but... Jeez, I need to get... Here we go. Some more of the fight is on the same side. This Tormentor is not a joke. Jeez. That was a tough fight. crazy how far away all the wreckage is. I'm trying to reconstruct my drone army here. Alright, where's that? Here we go. Let's get on this drone carrier. I think we can do some good work here. These things do have a crazy amount of health, though. Alright, there we go. Let's 
More drones, more drones. The enemies are having entirely too much time to focus on me. I don't want to be running the Annihilator virus out on them as much as possible. Turned off the UI for a second there while trying to fire Phalanx mode. so satisfying. It feels really, really good to kill an enemy with a direct hit from the uh, from the supernova cannon. Alright, it's starting to get a little real. It's starting to get a little real. There we go. Aw, I really didn't want to let that one get away. Using it. Yeah, yeah well, I just want out of here. Let me just fix my drones up real quick here. Also, I suppose I should nano machine up. Oh, I'm not allowed to interact with this wreckage. Despite the fact that we're short a drone. That's weird. For every enemy killed, a detonator drone is spawned in sent your way. I mean, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Alright, one more and then a boss wave, it looks like. This is fun, though. I'm digging this. I'm definitely up for more of this kind of challenge. Still not the DMZ. I'm starting to get a little worried. There is certainly the prospect of being trapped in some kind of infinity loop. This could continue forever. I'm taking a lot of damage oh, really yes, fast yes, here. Jeez, okay. Fire off phalanx mode there. Get myself clear. Honestly, getting clear didn't really do very much. I'm still, I'm still remarkably close to all the enemies. Toss another one off. That showed Why didn't that? There we go. The wreckage is being very difficult. That's not the drone. Out. I was fighting already. Actually, all of these things are at full health. It's impossible to... Alright, it's fine. Uh, oh, I should... Hold on. Pause the action here and throw some new... Well, let me pick these up. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's spawn the extra combat drone. <coughs> I need to I need to work on some little enemies. Oh, that is not what I'm trying to target right now. Good direct hits. Down one. Recharging the phalanx like constantly, which I think is working out really well for us. Jesus. Yeah, it's really um, it's really rough the way that I'm not allowed to restore my health anymore. Because usually, this is not how this works. Uh, all right. Right, we, we, we're usually able to swap slots in combat once we, um... There's that rearm delay. 
But I don't understand why that's not available. That's not even an option right now. Nice shot. Well executed. Right, doing my level best to fight these smaller drones, these smaller enemies, because those, those big ones. They're killable, but I don't know if they're killable within the amount of time we have. And the other enemies start focusing hard on us like that. Stage failed. Okay, well. Resolve got too low, which I assume means that I was not fighting fast enough. I was doing too much backing off, but like, what was I supposed to do? Oh man, I've never been so happy to see home. Adam, you vanished. A little bit, yes. First time this has happened. This is a new Come on. Rift of the ancients. Rifts, not rips, you say. Yes, Clico. Maybe the ancient rift is a way home. I should investigate the spatial bypass disturbance more closely. Now I see a connection. I'll get it right with the bypass. Uh, this could be Jesus Christ, stop we saying lines. But right now we've got some more pressing matters at hand. Okay, so when did Maddox and Eduardo leave exactly? Only a few hours ago. I'm sorry, Adam. I did try to stop them. But Maddox was so enraged. He was completely out of control. It's not your fault, Delia. The man was watching his big plan unravel and probably couldn't stand it another moment. Kala, can you tell me the comet's current position? It is flying through the Drake system. Hmm. The coalition controlled area. My guess is that Maddox will try to blast mine the comet at the earliest opportunity. I'll need to head him off before he does any damage. Nothing must happen to Eduardo. Of course not, Kala. I'll be in touch. Keep comms open. So, like, that's a really interesting situation, right? You literally, like, literally every player at the beginning of that, the, the trigger for that conversation is a thing that everybody will be in the same place for. Two seconds of flight outside of your friendly base with the next mission objective being to go into the base. What was it that made their designer think that that was a good time to put a 10 second unskippable dialogue that prevents you from going into the, the base until it's done? Literally, nobody is going to be in a position to hear all of that before it becomes an impediment to them. It just, it really does not feel like, it really does not feel like the people who designed the different parts of this thing were in contact at all. And it definitely doesn't seem like it was, I don't know, you would expect playtesters would have raised this issue like, hey, that's probably not how that should work, right? Okay, so we're supposed to go to paving the way. Let's let's hit uh let's hit some shops here first. You will not convince me that whatever is going on in the plot is urgent. I've played video games before. I know that it will wait as long as I feel like making it wait. Maddox, whatever you're thinking of doing, stop it now. You don't understand what you're reading. <sighs> He's not answering. Even the dialogue guy doesn't want to wait for all the damn dialogue to finish. <laughs> Which I get. <laughs> Fully on your side there, dude. All right, I don't think they're going to want these seeds, but we can buy some more stuff to sell. Okay, 
cybernetic implants, very low cost here and super valuable elsewhere. Okay, that's all we're getting out of that though. It is interesting that the rifts don't drop any um, items aside from the tears of the mad. Which looked like it was a crafting thing. I guess I should actually look. Get the map open. Let's head over to... Charybdis Bowl has a shop. And then uh, while we're here real quick, is it crafting? Yes, it is crafting. Okay, just a super high tier crafting resource. we can just buy a couple more stacks of these cybernetics because these sell extremely well. I mean, who would really want to live here? Who would really want to live in space? At least this place has like gravity and air, you know? It has things going for it. Uh, I don't really think I want to buy any of this other stuff here. This stuff we can acquire next system over for cheaper. Okay, so back to the fast travel point, I guess. Or does it actually make more sense to go through Union Bridge? Does it? I don't think it matters much. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go to Union Bridge because there is at least a there's a shop there as well. We can pick up some more stuff at the platform on the way out. Boy, the ship will uh, <laughs> the ship will lay in a course that brings you awfully close to a celestial body. I mean, it's fine. I guess it's fine. It just seems a little dangerous. Yeah. See, why does it need to drop us into the zone all the way back here? What an odd choice. Anything fun, more cybernetic implants, always fun. Okay, nothing else really here. Uh, you know what? While we're here, actually, let me... I'm, I was not allowed to level this up, right? No, I am allowed to level this up, but it requires a piece of a legendary. Okay. That's a shame, because I would like to keep this thing running as long as possible. It is starting to feel like, after that rift, it is starting to feel like we're, um, our stuff is maybe a little out of date, and that's a real, that's a real bummer. I want to go on using my ridiculous supernova cannon for as long as possible. Yeah, it's not the other side. They want us to actually go to Drake Passage. 
I, I don't know why I'm doing like It's already waypointed. I guess the map routine just sort of becomes a force of habit. Let's hope we can wrap this up and then we don't have to listen to Maddox be a performatively be an asshole for too too long. I have no current reading on the mining freighter belonging to Maddox. Could be they're transmitting the wormhole already. Okay, so we actually are going through the gate, but we had to stop here first. operated this wormhole neutrally. Yeah, but they take bribes. Yeah, well, sometimes there are exceptions, and you, at this moment, are just that. The exception. I get it. Maddox has already been through here and paid you to stall me. Am I right? Maybe you is, maybe you isn't. Adam, you are currently the one stalling you. you Stop this talking to this guy and just go to the fast travel point. <laughs> Look, I'd rather keep the peace with the Coalition, so I'll just find my own way around you. <laughs> You can try. There's no reason to tell him we're doing that. Let's just go do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. I can surely open this gate with some imagination. What? Okay, well, they're going to make me enter the gate. I don't... But I don't want to enter the gate. I want to just go use the fast travel point. I wonder if it will... Oh. I wonder if it'll respond to that. No, I'm not allowed to jump out now. Okay. Should we maybe do something about these outlaws? Eh. Wait, what is... Okay, the vent is too small for my ship to enter. What is it... What does it connect to, though? Like, what would I want to put in? Perhaps I can get something through these vents and... Force it open? Why would that do that, though? Uh, is there like a piece of. I mean, I shoot a missile in there. <laughs> I could fire the Crimson Sun into the vent. Remarkably, that didn't work. I'm helping. Oh, a practice target. Okay. Uh, picked up a copper deposit. I mean, is there like an object around here for me to... Well, this is probably not related, but... May as well open it. Got ourselves a power core. I do not see a place to put a power core. I can't imagine that we're supposed to just dump a power core into a random vent. I suppose when it goes wherever it's going, it might cause an explosion. Another power core. Well, you know what? I am absolutely going to try it. That nope does not do. Yeah, it's it's weird because like it, it like just logically this doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. Why would putting something into the vent? 
pause the gate to open. Okay, I'm going to put this back over here by the other power core. We'll figure out what it's for later. Yeah, I don't see any obvious receptacles. Okay, anyway, the thing we're actually doing here. It's so silly that it locks you in here and makes you do this because we absolutely, like the thing to do here is just leave and use our fast travel network. What would you put in a vent to make the gate that the vent is attached to open? I mean, it's it's basically got to be an explosion, right? Well, it certainly doesn't want that. Um, my drones won't go in. It's just something we set at the entrance and we let the gate pull in. The thing is, we don't actually have any other... Maybe it is the power cores and I just let them sit near it because like, we don't have any other manipulable objects in the area. Might as well grab this while we're here. Right, there's nothing else for us to, uh, for us to drop as far as I can see. So I'm going to try just letting go of one of these instead of trying to, like, fire it in. Just let it float near the... Nope, doesn't go in. Hmm. What does the text of this mission say? Nothing. The text of the mission says go to Drake Passage, but it doesn't allow us to do that. All right, is there... There's an object around here that I'm missing. There's something that we're actually supposed to be able to... to pick up and put on here. I just don't know what it is. Ah, okay. A gas tank dispenser. So it is an explosive. It is the the point is to blow it up. This, I mean, this doesn't make sense in a lot of ways. The idea that this thing would basically just like have a bunch of a bunch of gasping mouths around it is really weird. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm taking matters into my own hands. Stay out of my way. I think I'm on the right track. Let's try the other vents. Okay. Pretty easy to deal with the uh with the turrets here. We out-level them very slightly. Boy, that really bounced. Okay. Should probably get rid of these even though they don't pose any kind of threat to me because they probably can pierce a fuel tank by firing at us. Uh, that could be real awkward. Were it attached to the front of my ship when that occurred? Apparently I missed one.
What a goofy way to force them to open a gate that we don't need opened in order to allow us to get to a place that we can okay. more easily get to in other ways. Very impressive. But there's no way you're getting past me. Do the Coalition even know what you're up to here? I bet they wouldn't react well to you controlling access for your own personal gain. Well, then I had better make sure that you don't report that back to them. Did Max really pay you enough to put your life on the line? Hey, I gotta make ends meet. I need the creds. You made a bad career. I'm all right. Wow, this is retro. Listen, I really like that scene in the first Resident Evil movie too. I warned you. How uh, how long is this sequence gonna be? I think at this point I've, I've proven that I got it under control. We can maybe move on. Come out here and get murdered. Listen, you seem like a nice guy. I generally like Korak, but you are in way over your head. This needs to end now. I don't know you, so I'm not doing you any favors. You don't pass. My man, just like, consider the thing that's happening here. Hold on, I was fully inside the structure already. I had no intention of leaving. Are you really gonna... Adam, do you read Do we need to do this again? Eduardo, where are you? We have progressed into the Drake system, but it appears as if we were detected. I have linked you our coordinates. Please be prompt. The connection was interrupted. They're obviously in danger. I better resolve the situation here quickly. Mm. Damn, that packed a punch. I don't think Come I actually got it. Turn around and go your merry way. I told you, this wormhole is close to you. Ah, damn it. Oh my god, come on. Why don't I just leave? I let you through. But hey, just in case someone asks you, not a word to the coalition about my little side operation here. That change of heart just saved your life, but your delays may have cost others. There's theirs. Maddox, stop whatever you're doing. Don't lead anyone to the comp. Okay. The comet. You're more concerned about that cursed thing than my ass getting shot off. Uh, typical. Jeebus. I wish I'd never set eyes on you, Adam. Jeebus. We're we're doing a Jeebus now. Ooh, an optimized cargo unit. All right. I consider this bribe sufficient, but again, I should never have been in here in the first place because I don't need your stupid fucking gate. Like, there's no way for them to guarantee that you've done the other thing, so I get, like, having there be a challenge at the gate makes sense, and I think this should be an option for people who didn't set up the fast travel network beforehand. 
but you should be allowed to be rewarded for having prepared. Like, if you have set up the fast travel thing, Adam should just be like, actually, fuck this. And, uh, Let's make a beeline for Maddox. I hope we're not too late. We actually do have a timer. That's kind of neat. It's a really generous timer, but but it does exist. All right. <clears throat> While we're traveling here, just gonna take a second and uh, yeah, wow, two thirty, two hundred thirty structure. Bonus EMP duration might actually be good for us, and it's more structure. We lose a little bit of energy damage, but yeah, I think that's well worth it. Oh, I should have held that to sell. Yeah, oops. All right, well. Okay, uh, this should be in with that. There we go. If they're gonna throw a what's supposed to be a death trap at you, it really should start with that final level and like dial up from there. Should absolutely have done that long ago. You're not gonna make me feel sad about it. I killed him. Well, look who it is. Late to the party as usual. There he is, boys. My impersonator. Why don't you take your time in exacting your revenge? And destroy that freighter once you're done. I need to deliver Mr. Blakemore some good news. We got this, boss. Do we have a bone to pick with you? Your clone counterpart has departed the area. Yeah, I got that much hide. Eduardo could still be alive on the freighter. It's interesting that the um the raised levels, the, the level up that every region just received does not appear to have applied to the quest enemies. Seems odd, right? Let's talk at the freighter and see if Eduardo is at least in one piece. Top G and B elite remain on board. I'll need to watch my step. I'm checking the freighter. Proceeding to the bridge now. I found him. I went digging in his head for the memory module. Ben, you there? I need some remote diagnostics. Right here, buddy. Looks fairly critical. Let's see if a reboot works. Adam, but you killed me. Nama? Why would Adam kill you, Eduardo? Wait, hold on. Let's just unravel this. Eduardo, 
Career data banks compromised? The comet trajectory has been obtained, but you would know this, Adam. You're the one who took it. Mind telling us what this is all about, Adam? We're starting to get a little lost here. There's something you should all know that I should have told you before. I am a military clone, one of the few left after cloning was abolished. That's why I've had the fleet on my tail. One of my clone brothers made top rank of GNB's elite squad. Commissioner Hawk pressed me into working undercover, posing as him. Now, he's tracked us down, got everything GNB needs to exploit the comet. So you're saying that one of your clone brothers killed Maddox and Eduardo? I'm not quite dead yet. Your revelations do explain many things about you over the time I have known you. I knew you had a secret. What is a clone, Nama? Huh, now I know how you kept escaping death when I saw you blow up. You really died! Right now, the only important thing is informing Hawk that GNB got the trajectory of the comet. Let's bring you home, buddy. Well, also, Eduardo, yeah, the, the two important things. All right, it's not ideal. It's certainly not ideal. Although, Eduardo, I need you to go given how his squad right is, my now, guess is it's not going to be too hard to deal with the quote-unquote elite me. Who did this to me. GNB must have installed sensors at the wormhole. When they detected a Viridium freighter, they knew that it was us in search of the comet and they sent the elite squad to intercept. Powering down now. Hive, patch me through to the commissioner. What do you have to report? We've entered the worst case scenario. Maddox led G and Beely right to the comet and got himself killed in the process. Damn it, Roslyn, couldn't you keep better control of your people? Hey, Blakemore is about to trigger a war. A new conflict in the DMZ would suit him perfectly and be just what he needs to claim regional autonomy from the colonial authorities and GNB. Sounds like he's going rogue from the company. The colonial authorities won't intervene in this matter, as they see it as GNB internal affairs. So it looks as if I'll have to take care of this matter myself and stop him with whatever executive authority I can muster. You're just one cruiser against a whole base. Do you have an alternative? Let me think. There's no time. Fallon Pengo. The Bovis hacker? I know of him. Nothing good. How do you think he could help? He has malware. Disruptive tech beyond anything I've seen before. Maybe even powerful enough to ground the entire GNB mining fleet. Even if you could somehow get this Pango character to play along, how the hell would you spread this malware on Vesna? Well, if you still have your agent on the inside, Tammy, we could crack the place open and sabotage the ships where they're docked. Any plan is worth a try. Go and see what your hacker contact can provide. But be quick. I can't wait much longer. Panko, you read me? I need your help. I gathered from your conversation with the Commissioner that you were about to ask me about certain disruptive technology in my possession. What? You know? I mean, of course you know. Unfortunately, this was a unique transmission prototype called a mainframe disruptor, which I have already sold. I could allow you to try to track the purchaser down and bargain for it, in a civil manner. His location is unknown to me. Although I do know he is a regular customer at the Coalition shop in the Drake system. Seems like a tenuous link. If you were to pay the shop a visit, I could engage with their systems through yours, and see what I can extrapolate from his visits there. That's all I've got to go on right now. Let's give it a try. Okay, that seems pretty doable. Hey, Hive, before we go, I don't want anyone else stumbling across this rig and getting any grand ideas about Viridium mining. What do you have in mind? Can you trigger those bombs the Elite Squad left on the freighter remotely? With pleasure. Please attain some distance while I detonate the onboard explosives. I guess that's the end of the grand dream. I was a fool to think things could be as easy as one big job. Conquistadors of antiquity, burning their ships on the shore, come to mind with such a display. Yeah, well, no need to get all poetic about it, Hive. Let's get going.
All right. So hopefully that was that was one of the last big like snarls of plot information being delivered to us all slowly. Let's hope these guys really, really, really want to buy some uh, some seeds. And we may as well knock out a distress call while we're passing it. We did. Thanks a lot. Okay, well, that was an easy 4,000 credits. I didn't even see any of the other enemies go down. I guess our drones just handled it. All right, there's an undiscovered site there. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll swing through. <clears throat> on our way back out because it will it is to our benefit to clear the missions at the the undiscovered sites if we're going to be doing a lot of flying around drake in the near future okay pango i'm at the coalition shop i don't really have the time to hang around and wait for this guy to show up i don't expect you to if you would kindly dock with the shop i could attempt to penetrate their database and extract the triangulation of their client's approach and drop locations you must. Huh. Well. Act as a decoy while I initiate a security override. I didn't even see that container. You need me to provide a distraction. Stall for time. Make small talk. And I'll be able to hack their network via your systems. I suppose I'm not being given a say in this. Okay, I am supposed to. I am supposed to actually dock, so you have to shut the fuck up so I can do that. Welcome to the Coalition store. What can I do you for? Just keep them occupied while I link to their systems in the background. Hey, you know what would be a great way to do that is uh, shopping. If I could just, like, shop. Beans here by any chance? We got beans of all varieties. What's your pick? Oh, well, uh, what are my choices? Well, we got pinto beans, there's refried beans and garbanzo and black beans. Then there's your standard beans and your kidney beans, white and red. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Any, uh, any other types? Well, we got stocks of the less popular fava, mung beans, and asazi, lima, flagellate, haricot. Keep them talking. I'm nearly through. Wow, that is quite a selection. Or is there more? Look, are you seriously interested in purchasing beans, or are you just in the business of hearing me listen off names of beans? Oh, I am all into beans, all right. In fact, I'm in the market for a few crates to keep the uh, crew back on base happy. I just need to find the right sort. Because we also got your standard soybeans, then there's a lentil and pea varieties. Ooh, do tell me more. Well, your green lentil is regarded as a bean and is pretty versatile. I'm through. I have the flight records I need. Great. Um, let me consider my options, and um, I'll get back to you. Thanks. Uh, damn time waster. That was super funny, and it was definitely worth not allowing me to shop the whole time it was happening. Uh, look at all this medicine. Hell yeah. I will take all of this, and... All right, they will, in fact, pay top dollar for some seeds... Uh, there's one crate of nanofibers. Okay, everything else we are continuing to hold on to. But yeah, that's not too bad. Out of curiosity. Okay, they just have other three pluses. Okay. You got the location of your client? An approximation. The data I read indicates that he has spent most of his time just inside the Drake system, transferring coordinates to you. Go to the motor rift. Okay, tell me about this guy. Only that he is a somewhat secretive individual who appears to be avoiding his debtors. He goes by the moniker Ghost. 
Well, with a name like that, he surely doesn't want to be found. I learned that he had accumulated some sizable losses at the gambling tables. Although he did pay hard creds for the mainframe disruptor and attempted no trickery, I had informed him that the device was as yet largely unproven, but he seemed intent on field testing it for himself. I guess the guy at least sounds reasonable. Let's hope he's willing to do business. Don't mind me, just stealing shit. I <laughs> really appreciate that the guards here don't mind that I'm clearly flying around and looting things. Hey, the chamber in there is like weirdly green. Is that is that significant? What's going on in here? Well, there is a shipwreck. And a valuable shipwreck. Yeah, all right. I guess let's uh, let's push through the cl uh, the cloud here. Boy, that really, really, really is not a valuable shipwreck. Okay, protector sphere socket. We'll drop a protector sphere off there. Let's do the um, this other spot up here first. Terminals. Oh, the socket's behind a shoot. Let me get rid of this because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go get it again anyway. Oh, I saw this line. I thought that was the cloaked, uh, the cloaked container. I think it maybe is. His, oh, I think that was one of my drones that I saw out of the corner of my eye there. Uh, okay, uh, that'll take this. I'll probably just yeah, disassemble. All right, those are very distracting. Let's have a let's have a look around here and see if we can figure out how to turn these shields off. What do these terminals do? That's pretty harsh. Shit. Uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with that next part either. I'd really love to just get there with a clean bill of health so that I can bang into some stuff while I'm figuring it out. Ooh. Okay, that time I was only allowed one hit. Why do I have to get so close? <laughs> okay, I mean, that was cool. That was the that second the terminal in there was the other terminal, right? That I was seeing. So yeah, there's not a not a second thing to hack out here. So unfortunately that did not do anything about the shield situation. We have found no shield generator.
Maybe it's not a shield generator situation, though. Maybe it's a dump the protector sphere in the pipe situation? Ah, yes, yeah, so it would seem. Okay. That seems pretty doable. I'm not going to try to, like, 100% this place right now, but... We have a couple of obvious, uh... Obvious puzzles to solve, and it sure would be cool to get some new, properly leveled loot. Alright, so how far out here was it? This is the pipe. Yeah, it collided with the wall pretty badly. There we go. Give it a little bit of a push. Wait, did it get lost? Where'd it go? Maybe it timed out. Must have timed out. All right. Got to get a cleaner shot. The problem is we know from having done this many times in the past that you can't line it up visually. That doesn't work because your um, the fact that your point of view is above the ship instead of perfectly behind it means that you're always you're always looking at the, these things at an angle. So it needs to look like we're aiming to a little higher than we would expect. But I probably need to make sure the ship is, at the very least, looking down the pipe as much as possible. That was fairly clean. Okay, not amazing loot though. One more thing. actually sure what that did. I, mean, I guess it seems to have extended the protection effect because we're not really dealing with the radiation anymore. Uh, I can just go ahead and scrap that. It was not in fact a very valuable shipwreck. How dare you Miss Gnome. I'll tell you, this weapon is definitely good at clearing mines. I don't even want that. Protector sphere socket. Am I supposed to be getting an anemone scan? Apparently not. Okay, this one might actually open something. 
The ones in the previous couple of rooms have been just to tone down the radiation in a way that I super don't care about. This, on the other hand, this might, this might be locking some loot up. Where does this let out? Okay. Quite far from where we were trying to get to. So we're going to need to move pretty fast with this thing. Fifty seconds and a bunch of big glowy effects obscuring my screen, making it hard for me to tell where I'm going. Ah, come on. We're almost there. Man, really? Another another place where we really need a sphere? That's annoying. Who is responsible for this design? I just I just wanna talk. They make you bring a sphere in to unlock the door to a room where you have to, you can't do anything until you get another sphere. What an annoying, all right, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. Pretty close. Okay, so we got some new of level high rarity plating, which is good because our plating is definitely squawking at us. 20, 34, 8%. Holy shit, that's a lot more plating. 5% <laughs> armor damage reduction for each enemy within 500 meters. They're just, when are they ever going to be within 500 meters? Uh, so obviously the secondary weapon range increase on this is borderline useless. Highs deal 10% more damage and gain 20% damage reduction. Huh. That's interesting. It's probably not super great, but yeah, even though I do, I do love the 8% per kill. I, there's no doubt in my mind that that is an upgrade. All right, let's do this because that's the stuff we're actually trying to keep. That was satisfying. Okay, cool. Well, it's been fun to explore a new area. I feel like I feel like it's been a bit of time since we've gotten to do some fun new site challenges. Uh, so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, uh, we're going to do a couple more. I think that I think this area needs to be mastered before we really move on. Uh, so come back for that, and we'll see you then.